This tutorial focuses on the creation of video, editing of video and uploading a video to your website. Um, we're going to focus on a, maybe two different ways of doing this, but uh, we'll start off with the most simplistic one. Um, so before we do, let's give a little bit of background about video. For starters, uh, it's the fourth of our feeds. We've looked at text, images, audio, and finally we're on to video here. Um, and its usage is phenomenal. Um, Facebook, as we know, is the most commonly used and uh, highest usage of all social media channels and uh, YouTube is next. Um, so it's very important for us to, if we're going to use it, to use it correctly and to know how to use it correctly. Um, so with that in mind, you know, we're going to have a look at, at, at YouTube um, and its growth over the last number of years. Hours of content uploaded to YouTube every single minute is growing and growing exponentially so you know it's a really good place to put your stuff but most of all you have to be optimized in order to be able to to utilize the channel properly and make sure that people can find your material on there so um what we're finding from websites is that the engagement level with video is way higher than the engagement level with text or images or audio um click through rate is four times higher with video when there's video on a, on a page than there is with text on the page. So again, it's a way of not only attracting, but also engaging your customers. The retention rate is higher when there's video included as well. So, you know, I think the message is quite clear. If you're going to um, want to engage and want to uh, attract your customers, this is the way to go. But if you're going to do it, you have to do it correctly and do it well, okay? Um, so first page ranking have video and then only a small percentage have no video. So next question is YouTube or Vimeo? Um, what's the difference? What are the similarities? Well, if we just look at this very quick overview here, um, what Vimeo has, Vimeo has free and paid and YouTube also has free and paid. Um, and with regards to um, the YouTube allows more maybe in with line in the line of commercial material um for a free user than Vimeo does. Um you know, with regards to other things, I think what, what we really should look at is where are our audience. If our audience are all using YouTube, well then there's no point in us using Vimeo and vice versa. So I think it's really important for us to understand what our audience want and what our audience use. And, you know, there is some kind of snobbery, really, when it comes to uh, creative types and uh, the likes of YouTube. They think that maybe it's a clunky um, interface, whereas Vimeo is a little bit slicker. Um, maybe that's the truth, but it all comes down to your audience. If your audience aren't there, there's no point in you being there. Um, so know where your audience are and you know, meet them on their land, really. OK, so with YouTube Premium, there are, they're working towards this, the whole idea of ad free and uh, YouTube originals and so on. So what we're going to look at here is we're going to look at two aspects of video creation and video production. First of all, how we create it. And second of all, how we reach. OK, so we're going to have a quick look at two different types, slideshow versus video editors. We're going to spend most of our time on slideshow because it's a uh, it's, you know, a far easier learning curve um, and then reach YouTube or Vimeo. So know where your audience are. You know, there's nothing stopping you putting your, your, your video up on both, uh, which is, you know, if you know your audience is, is across both channels, that's really what you should be doing. So with regards to slideshow, slideshows are really just, again, plug and plays, very simple WYSIWYG ways of creating um, a video. And we're going to use Adobe Spark just to see how simple and how quick it is to create a video using you know, a slideshow approach. So Adobe Spark, as I mentioned, is very, very straightforward. So what I'm going to do, instead of going through the PowerPoint showing you step by step, what I'm actually going to do is skip through these and I'm actually going to do it live so you can see exactly what we're, we're, we're working at. And then we'll come back in here and we'll have a look at the video editor briefly. OK, so I'm going to jump across to my um, browser and you've seen I'm, I'm, I've I've gone in here to I've, I've searched for Adobe Spark video and I come up with this here and I'm going to click on this link here um, and you can start now for free.
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to put a title on this. And the video I'm going to deal with, I'm going to stick with the theme that I've been dealing with so far, which is Walk With Me. Um, and I'm going to go next. And as it turns out, really what they do is they give you different templates to, to work off. I'm going to work off this show and tell one. Um, really what they're trying to do is prompt you to put up certain things in certain ways. You know, it's up to yourself what you're trying to do with your video. So I'm going to go into show and tell here. Um, and it, it, it loads up a simple template for me to follow. And you'll see exactly how straightforward this is. So what it'll give me is it gives me a number of slides you can see here in the bottom. And it's, uh, in my case, I've got um, I've got seven slides plus credits and an outro here in the bottom. OK, um, you can also add more if you want to. Uh, along the side here, you've got layouts, themes, resize and music. I'm going to deal with all of these near the end. OK, I'm going to very quickly create um, a video and you're going to see how quickly this is okay a lot of these images i've used before so you know you know i've sized them up and and uh, dealt with them correctly with, with that in mind so i'm going to start off with about me i'm going to click on the center plus in the middle and it says you can add a video text photographs or an icon now in nearly all of my cases here i'm going to create uh, a photo slide shop, uh, slideshow. So I'm going to add the photos, but I'm also going to add text to some of these as well. So I'm going to add photograph. As soon as I click on photo, it changes the tab over here on the right, and I'm going to upload my photographs. So I'm going to go back here one step, and I have all my photographs in a folder called website images. And I'm going to start off with um, a walk with me video of Glenda Lock. So I'm going to um, add this image first of all. And I'm going to add my text, which is simply going to say walk with me. You can see in the bottom right hand corner, the length of time for this particular slide to show will be four seconds. And if you want to, you can record um, a voiceover on this. What I'm actually going to do near the end of this is add the actual um, lay lady lay voiceover that I created in the audio um, creation tutorial earlier. So you'll see how that works. Of course, it would be better if I did a voiceover talking about Glenda Lock, but you'll just see how the whole thing works. And that's the, the main idea of what we're trying to do here. So I'm going to go on to the next slide. And I'm going to add a photograph. And the photograph I'm going to add this time is um, a very simple overview of the lake in Glenda Lock. And I'm going to just say a bit of text in here. And you'll see in a minute that I've actually, um, I've put a little bit of thought into what I'm going to say in each slide and what I'm going to do. So I'm on to the next one and I'm going to just very quickly um, start adding images here and a little bit of text. And you'll see exactly, you know, that I have put, hopefully you'll agree, I've put a little bit of thought into this. But anyway, um, next slide to work. The next picture here is Glenda Lock and people resting. Oh, here we are. And then the last one here is another picture of Glenda Lock, this time from up on top of this pink. And a little bit of text there saying, and play. Now, I'm gonna start trying to finish this off now. Um, by, this time I'm going to add an image with, with some text already in the image. So I don't really have to add any text to this. And the last photograph here I'm going to add is going to be um, one of this here, where I'm just going to say a little bit of text on this in Garden of Ireland. OK, now what you'll see with these here is that when I've added images, it bring the time up to um, four seconds each. Now, if I want to change the time in any one of these, just say I want to change this to 
slightly longer than four seconds, six seconds for this one. Because it's my last slide down here, I'd say six seconds for the last one as well. So that brings my, my just say another six seconds for this one here as well. Four seconds for that one, fine. Okay, now what we can do at any stage is this is what I've done so far. I can just press play to see what I have, okay? with that um it's it's as you see it's 34 seconds long and i'm just going to play around with the, the layout first of all i can go full screen split screen captions so it just changes how you look now there's not a huge amount of um choice here you'll see but you know let's be honest it's a very simple and free way of creating um a video okay so in this case here I can just say you can just choose a different theme and you can see it changes my font but also changes the way my my pages the transition between my my actual slides as well so i'm going to go back to the first one i like it here resize will allow me to go for a wide screen or a square depending on if you're going to go for you know maybe an instagram story or something like that you go with the square if you're going with a video which is what i'm going with i go with the wide screen um you can choose different types of, of music as well. So, you know, like, let's be honest, some will work better with, uh, with, with your video than others. So if I come along here and play this one, it's a little bit too Parisian for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my own here. And what I'm going to add is the actual, um, the sound file that we created in the last tutorial. Now the sound file here looks at Lay Lady Lay and uh, it's a voiceover. Now it doesn't exactly fit to what I'm trying to do, but you get the idea that I can just compile all my own material here if I want to. So in this case here, this is a track by Bob Dylan called Lay Lady Lay. Okay, and you can see what we have there and you can see how straightforward this is. So I'm just going to download this file and um, it'll download it into my download folder. And from there, I'm going to jump across into um, YouTube and I'm going to upload it. So you can see it's, it's going to take a, um, you know, it doesn't take that long to download it, but it does depend on your, your bandwidth as to how long it's going to take. So you can see it's coming down there quite quickly. It's about halfway down at the moment. Um, and of course, the great thing is, even though I've downloaded this, it doesn't mean I can't go back and, and edit it and change it. I can, you know, so I've downloaded, it's called Walk With Me. It's in my, um, it's in my download folder. And at this stage, if I want to, I can jump in now and I can upload it onto YouTube. Okay, so I'm just going to open up a new tab here. I'm going to go into YouTube. Now, here's a whole load of videos I've got in YouTube under my own uh, account. So it's very straightforward to add something in here. You just simply go click up here. Now, once you've logged in, you can upload a video or go live. I'm going to upload a video. Um, now, the next thing it's going to ask me is what video do I want to upload? So literally, I've got to select the file. Um, and in my case here, my video is in my downloads because that's where I downloaded it to a second ago. Okay, and you can see it here, it's called Walk With Me. So I'm gonna click on that, I'm gonna go open. Now, it doesn't create huge video files, which is great, because that means you can actually uh, 
you know you can you can dive in here fairly quickly and and uh, you know um, upload these things as quickly as you want to okay so in my case here what i'm going to do is i've got walk with me here all right uh, that's the title i can change that or i can put brackets at the end of it and add more to it i can add a description okay now there's one i've actually you know saved earlier okay but it's it's one that i've used before and i'm going to probably use again um i can upload my own thumbnail which means that this is the vid the, the image that will appear there like for instance this is the image these are the three images taken from my video that, that they're suggesting of course i can go mad and up and upload something else if I want to. So I'm going to upload a thumbnail here for a second and I'm going to go back to my uh, tutorials here and into website images and I can upload any one of these images or any image I want to really um, as my thumbnail. So I'm going to just upload this one here um, As my thumbnail and then it goes i know it's one of my ones there but that's neither here nor there actually walk with me is probably a better thumbnail but you get the idea so you can add these to it if you want to or choose this one as your thumbnail if you want to okay so you can add your own the next question i ask you is is i do want to add this to a playlist i don't have a playlist set up on this particular account so i don't but just say you had a particular playlist for your um for your product or your concept you know your four or five videos your playlist does not have to include only videos you create so you might create one video or two videos and you might have four or five other ones that you want to add to that and you can put them into a playlist so people can uh, can can deal with them so if you have an age restriction you can add that here just say you're dealing with alcoholic beverages or you're dealing with certain things which are over 18 or over 21 well then you add that to this as well okay so on to the next step here the next step is adding end screens or cards okay so in this case here what i can do is i can add an end screen or a card here which will allow me to show other videos that maybe you want to show up at the end of this one here so just say you had a series of three or four videos and this was the first of them what i would do here is put in the second one there and the third one here and so on so if i click on this one here it will allow me to uh, show a playlist and you know uh, a video and one subscribe this is two videos and so on so you know if you've had if you have other elements that you want to add to it you you can uh, you can do that okay add cards now cards are really useful um if you want to add a card to this that means that at certain times within the video you could be standing there somebody could be talking and you might want to display some information up here such as a website so you might say listen for more information click on my website up here in the top top left or whatever the case might be so you can add a card to this and that means that somebody can click on this and interact with that particular part of the video and you can say that you want the card showing up for 10 seconds or five seconds or two seconds or whatever okay so um you can you can play around with those things there um so next one up is visibility and do you want it private, unlisted, or public? Private means that only people um, that you who you choose can watch the video can see it. Unlisted means that it will not show up in a search, but anybody that has the link to your video can see it. And then public means everybody has access to it. Now, um, in most cases, you probably want it to be public. So uh, I'm going to set mine as being public here. And then the schedule. So you might turn around and say, listen, I only want it visible from this time to this time um, or only I want it to be loaded at a certain time okay so I'm going to say I'm going to just take save save or publish I'm going to go back to that leave the schedule as it is okay it's already finished uh, processing so uh, you see how quick it is and then I just go publish and here I have my own address okay so I'm just going to uh, copy that and then I'm going to click on it okay so as you can see here my video is up and running I'm going to pause it there for a second you see that it's uh, it was launched today the 29th of June and you can see you know that my comments down here or sorry my my um, description down here and then people can add comments to it if they want to um, I can look at the analytics and I can edit the video. So if I wanted to go and just do something slightly different with the video, I can edit it there. Analytics will show me 
you know, and quite often when you look, launch a video first, there isn't a huge amount to look at because at this point in time, there nobody has seen it. Uh, and you, but the great thing is once people start looking at it, you can start to see how many people, how often you can see how long they're actually watching it for. So my video, as we know, is 35 seconds long and we can actually see that, you know, some people only watch the first five seconds of it. You know, we can see the reach, we can see the engagement, we can see the audience and you will start to see a lot of really good quality detail appearing in these here once you start to, uh, to, um, to get viewers and start to see people looking at what's going on there. Okay. So again, really, really useful stuff there. Right. I'm just going to go into my Wix page here. And I'm going to show you how simple it is to add this video to it. So literally I'm just going to go add. And this time I'm going to go. Right. Wix video, video box, okay. Single video player. I'm gonna just take YouTube, drag and drop it down here, okay. And as is the case with pretty much everything we look at here, um, when we, first of all, add a YouTube box to this, it'll automatically show us Wix's, uh, Wix's video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just click on that, I'm gonna go change video, and I'm gonna paste in the video that, um, that I just created myself, okay. And you'll see the walk with me video appears in there and we can resize it and play around with it if we want to okay um and i'm just going to drag it down a little bit here and it's going to preview it here just, just to show you how simple that is all i took was the address and then off goes my video as well. okay. i'm going to pause it there because we don't want to go the whole way through but you see how simple it is and how easy it is for to us to import a video in there um just while we're at it here settings i'm just going to just move this up a little bit so we can see what's going on here but settings you can see my video here you can see autoplay which means it will automatically start when the page loads okay be careful with that because some people you know completely dislike that play in loops be very careful with that one because it means that when you hit the end of my 35 seconds it'll start all over again and and go round and round and round we can add a description which of course we should do um, and you can add the same description you added for the video if you want to and that's a, a great way of uh, of getting your your keywords in good and strong so there's not very many changes we can make there obviously you can make it look different by by looking at the design the layouts and so on but you know it's very very straightforward how the whole thing works so i'm just going to jump back to my powerpoint and just finish off here for a second we um we're not going to spend too much time in here i just want to show you how simple this is when we looked at Audacity in um, in the previous tutorial, when we looked at audio creation, you saw how simple it was to fade in, fade out, and, and use tracks to uh, play around with different sounds and so on. Video editing is very, very similar, except what we're actually dealing with, instead of you know your left and your right channel when you're listening, um, listening to a track, you're, you're looking at two tracks, the first one is for audio and the second one is for video or vice versa. Um, and a lot of these video editors deal with that in the exact same way. So, you know, the ones that I would suggest are, um, well, there's two of them here, OpenShot, which is free. And one that I quite like myself is VideoPad, which is actually gives you um, a month free trial. But you can, you know, yourself, you can get around that. But anyway, um, with regards to, you can, you know, you you can download different versions and so on. So, but VideoPad is very, very straightforward, a nice, uh, easy learning curve on it and nice and simple to use. I'll just jump out to VideoPad here for a second. I have it, I have one here, which is looking at, I think the last video here, but it's the same idea um, with VideoPad in that it, uh, here, sorry, uh, in that it, um, I said instead of having track one and track two your video track and audio track and again you can add two video tracks or three video tracks and several audio tracks as well so again it's the whole idea of playing around with these things and adding in different different parts um, and it allows you then to merge different videos together you know to have different transition going on and so on but again it's a very straightforward concept 
you know, um, you know, it's, you know, it's a very simple learning curve on it. So with that in mind, we're just going to uh, jump on and move on here. And as you can see, the actual PowerPoints will bring you through the same steps that we went through about uploading videos and so on. You can see um, how simple and straightforward it is. And um, and you can, again, use your, your thumbnails and all the steps that I followed through there as well and your studio and so on and how you add it to your Wix page and how you change the different concepts. So again, you know, with this one in front of us here right now, you can see that this, this video here had um, has had a lot of interaction. So it's good to be able to see that and you can then see the minutes, the average view duration for the video. You can then, you know, you can see the watch time, you can see the views that it's had and so on. So you can see the analytics and therefore be able to make decisions based on these things. Uh, so that's the simplicity of video.